It's the 1970s. It's a time when an embattled president might meet with a rock and roll legend. Disco dancing and go-go boots are all the rage. People wait in mile-long lines to buy gas. It's even a time when a woman might lie about her age or marital status to get a job. It's during this time that Connie Nicholas accomplished the unthinkable. She broke through one of the most secretive cliques in professional sports, the all-male world of pro football scouting. But the road to this moment began years before. Connie's story was always unusual. Connie's experiences growing up were things out of a dream. From driving around in a convertible with Joe Namath, to sparring with Howard Cosell, to having Captain Kangaroo at her kitchen table, to meeting her hero Roy Rogers and witnessing that guaranteed New York Jets Super Bowl victory, her life was far from that of an ordinary teenager. Following her graduation from Ohio State, Connie attended a party with her parents and had a chance encounter with the New York Jets head coach, Charlie Winner. The Jets were hiring a secretary for the scouting department. Connie immediately sold Winner that she was perfect for the job. I really loved my job with the Jets. One day I'd be helping Coach Lou Holtz. The next day, baking pies for Joe Namath. The next day, in would walk Dr. J to work out at the complex. The very next day would be the great soccer player, Pele. So it was always very exciting. But I knew that I had much more to offer and could do much more if I was only given the chance. In the nonfiction book, X's and O's Don't Mean I Love You, walk with Connie as she journeys from the daughter of a Jets doctor to NFL scout, the first woman to ever fill that role. Learn more at ConnieScouts.com.